I want to thank you guys for coming back for another session. Um, but I was wondering, where is Brandon today? Well, he's fallen in his, one of his father's footsteps and he's taken tap. Very so, nice. Tap better than ice skating. Ice skating is such a manlier sport than tap. I know. That's the point. Right. Okay. Well, um, first of all, I want to go ahead and begin with following up on the homework assignment that I gave you guys last week. Yeah, Jan. So... Time out! So, the middle stage is where the therapist follows up on how the homework went and how effective it was. Therapist encourages family members to move beyond blaming and to begin talking directly about what they feel and what they want. Jan, so like I was saying, um, it went pretty well. It was good advice. I think it, it took me retracting myself from the dominating role mm -hmm. to see that Damon has his own parenting style. As bizarre and obscure as it may be, and as uh, broed out as it may be, the, from the frat dude at heart, he has the best interest. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a frat dude? You put up my dude and brought up me. That was the second <laughs> time. Are <laughs> you a frat boy, Carl? Is there something we need to know yes. about you? Yes. Carl, you keep that in. <laughs> Man, I don't know that was easy. This <laughs> is the second time. And the first time was so ridiculous. A black frat guy? A black gay frat guy. <laughs> Like, that's just unheard of. That's an anomaly. That got be famous just for being so ridiculous. <laughs> you won't find those. So Dying so in the rough. Alright, can we just over again? Okay. From so the beginning? Just or? from my part. Okay. So, Jan, like I was saying, yes. Um, it took me retracting myself, analyzing Damon's parenting skills, basically like taking a step back from your closet and looking at... <laughs> <laughs> Stop trying to get abstract. If she had to laugh and walk down the room, I would have been fine. Oh, God. <laughs> like, look at your closet. You, you, she, you actually do, too. I know that. Step up from your closet. Oh, wait. I already stepped out of the closet. Okay. So, Jan, like I was saying, yes, it was a good homework assignment. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. Um, I'm used to giving midterm grades, not receiving them. But if I were to receive one, I feel like I would have gotten an A. <laughs> Dude, just go and see the script. That was good. I know. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. All right, Jan. Like I was saying, it just took me a minute to step back. To see Damon in the true light for the parent that he really wants to be. Mm -hmm. He's not there yet, but he's trying his hardest. And and that's I do respect that. I do. I respect that. Well, it's, it sounds like it was a challenge for you, but you were able to take a step back from the situation when you felt that things were getting a little bit uneasy for you. Yeah, it, it was it was hard because I wanted to interject, you know, and put my two cents in, because it wasn't how I would have done it. I don't think it's how ninety nine percent of the parents in the United States would have done it. Right. Okay. But but um, but but, mm -hmm. but yeah, I, I get it. I get okay. It. Well, thank you it. for sharing. Now, yeah. Damon, what are your thoughts about last week and the homework assignment? Well, first of all, to address you, we are one of the point one percentage points of parents in the United well, uh -huh. States. So. Obviously, we're going to do things differently. Thank but you. Thank, right, you. That's, thank you, that's, mathematician. That's a very good point. But let's kind of stick to the task at hand right now, please. I am. You are a little arts major. So you need to understand. You remember that. I am the science major, so yes, I'm good at math. But regardless, I think even though it was a homework assignment, it went rather well. It was difficult because Jason tried to step in a lot and help me and offer advice. And even though sometimes I didn't want to listen because I have my own way of doing things, I, I, I could I'd step back and I could listen and I think we worked through it. Because I think it's important to understand from these sessions that we need to act as a team. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really what I, I tried to bite my tongue as much as possible so we could benefit Brandon and work as a team. Right. 
And so it, it sounds like both of you have become aware of what your roles have been in the parenting process and how that has in turn affected Brandon's behaviors. And um, I encourage you to take this time right now to kind of talk about what it's like being part of a team of parents and how, how that looks and how that feels for you all. Time out. During the stage of therapy, um, the therapist encourages the family to talk amongst one another while the therapist attempts to disengage. If the therapy goes well, all stages are assumed to flow logically. Within the stage, it's also imperative that the family takes note of what has happened with the changes of hierarchy. For example, although Jason was asked to become excluded for parenting for one week, he continued to have the urge to be involved. As Jason was blocked off from being involved with Brandon, he learned to communicate more with Damon, thus becoming more involved in co-parenting. Damon, the way I see it, I'm like Heart Bear, and you're like Sky Bear. Your head's in the clouds all the time. But that's why I like you, because you dream big. But Heart Bear, Heart Bear understands logic and reasoning. We need to make Sky and Heart connect. And we need to slide down this rainbow into Brandon's heart and be a family. Need to be a family. I understand what you're trying to say, and I do appreciate that. And I think you're right. I think you're right. And I really appreciate how you you helped me and help and worked with me. And I think the team aspect is important. I can be your sky bear. I like. I I can understand that to the way you look at me, and I want you to be my heart bear. But. I think they're both critical ingredients in this beautiful cake that we're making, which is our son. But I can see why in the past it has been looked at as though we were, well, I was oil bear and you're vinegar bear. Yeah. The thing is, is I always feel like the egg. I feel like the structure. And yeah, I feel like you're the sugar. You're the flamboyant -y sweetness. Um, and then we have this pure batter that we have to mold into a family. Yes. We have to mold this into a cake. And it takes both, it takes both of us and, to do it. And Sky Bear here and Heart Bear here, we have to ride down Rainbow Bear. Brandon. We have to bring Brandon into this. It's he, for Brandon. And I think it's important instead of working against each other, which is what we were doing as oil and vinegar bears, because oil and vinegar don't get along. You can't mix oil and vinegar. You just can't do that. You don't put oil and vinegar into a cake, so that's we can't contrast each other. We have to work together as a team to make something beautiful. And I think that's that's where we were getting into trouble before, and I think that's what this therapy session has really helped me realize, and I hope the same for you. Jan, Jan it, 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 it's helped a lot, okay, you know. Okay. I, I think we know our roles, mm -hmm. we know our positions. So it sounds like you both have agreed that joining together and being a parenting team, one unit, will allow you to make a change in the sequencing Sky Sky yeah, and the, the patterns that you display as a parenting unit. And um, you know, you notice the problems that you were having that may have contributed to the behaviors that Brandon was displaying. So um, I think that you guys have come a long way in realizing what the problem is and, and how to explore that into working together as a team now.